How's it going YouTube and welcome back agents. Today's simulation is a game of Wanted on Saint Pierre, one of the returning maps from AC3. We are playing as the Cuts Rope, who is fast becoming possibly my favourite character. I've got him dressed in his black Templar outfit, which you can unlock through playing Wolfpack. Um, I think he looks pretty badass, actually. Um, you know, in my Q&A video, I was saying it'd be pretty fucking cool to run around as a ninja in, like, black and stuff like that. Well, I think I've got my my character, you know, in this multiplayer, that his, his costume looks so fucking sweet. Let's get myself a nice incognito hidden. Or I should say a perfect hidden, as they've renamed the approach bonuses. Um, so yeah, a couple of things I want to say quickly is it is time is half past 12 at night and I don't normally do my commentaries this late in the day actually. Um, as you can see, knife stuns are back with vengeance um, and I'll go over that in a minute. But yeah, it's pretty late so I apologise if uh, my voice or the commentary in this video is a little lower than what it would normally be. I will try to perfect it in uh, my editing program once the <laughs> once I've finished doing this. But yeah, I think with this being day, uh, well, this was recorded on day one, so um, I'm going to reserve judgment for a few days, if not a week, maybe even a month, um, about the game. Not saying I'm not going to give my opinion whether it's good or bad. Um, it's different and I'll give it that and I think different is good um, they've made changes here and there for the better and maybe for the worse in places like, I don't know if you've noticed as well those of you that have played the multiplayer and for those of you that haven't played the multiplayer I'm, I do, I'm very sorry um, if you're on PC and you have to wait or if you just haven't got it yet because you have to wait till Christmas or whatever but um, I kinda lost my point now but yeah, I kind of feel like the devs have made the game harder to play, but at the same time they've made it easier to play, if that even makes any sense, because they've made it harder to get kill streaks, but then they've made it easier to get really good kills. So that kind of doesn't make any sense, because you kind of got really good kills with uh, kill streak bonuses. In like the previous games, but yet yeah, in this one, um, it's really hard to get a kill streak, um, especially without kill buffer. Okay, so the knife stun is back with a vengeance, like I said, and I'm just going to go over a couple of things that you may or may not have noticed. Uh, knives, the, by default, the duration is two seconds, okay, but that doesn't include the recovery time. For the character that you knife, okay? So I think it's a further two seconds at most. So from the moment your knives hit the character, you have four seconds to get um, the stun. Because after the two second duration, which I would imagine is the root time, you have a further two seconds of recovery time for the player themselves, as I try and get a cheeky stun on the mercenary. That's right, I'm starting to learn their names. Are you impressed? I think I am. But yeah, so in that further two seconds after the root time has worn off, uh, the kill range of your pursuer will come back to them. So my tip for getting a knife stun is uh, when you throw your knives, you need to run not straight at your pursuer. Um, run to the side like you would in AC3 like a lot of you who will, are used to getting knife stuns will run to the side of a player you know where you think the range is in AC3 for where they might drop their smoke bomb you gotta do the same in AC4 um, yes there's gonna be uh, occasions where the lag will screw you over um, or if you try to stun them too quick because You'll see in a minute, you might have seen it already, I think 
uh, the character who I'm after, the rebel, she tries to knife stun me, but she tries to stun me too quick and I get uh, an insta kill on her. So, yeah, that's my tip for this video. Uh, the knife stun is you have pretty much four seconds to get the stun, so stay at maximum range, and as they recover, make it th make it three and a half seconds, okay, to get your knife stun as soon as the knives hit the player. Two seconds of root time or duration, and then a further second and a half of player recovery time. And again, run to the side of the player, um, not directly in front of them. So yeah, um, I am enjoying playing the game. Uh, like I said, it's fresh, it's new. Some of the maps, like this one for example, I... Well, I never played this one in um, AC3 simply because I, you couldn't find game mode, or you couldn't find games in the modes that you were interested in playing. Um, and I just want to say, like, time phase as good as and and interesting as an ability it is, it's pretty shit. <laughs> I mean, okay, look, she run pretty much straight into me. She didn't stay at maximum range and spam the kill button. So don't do what that rebel did, um, but yeah, time phase seems like a pretty useless ability. It's only going to slow down uh, your pursuer. Again, to the side, getting at a stun range, and then get killed by players you don't even know are there. <laughs> um, so yeah, like I said, I'm going to revert reserve judgment for a good few days, weeks, even a month or two. Maybe until the next patch comes out, because there's a lot of bugs at the moment in time. I mean, the one thing I've been suffering with the most is FPS lag. I mean, I was playing some game lab uh, assassinate with uh, some friends, and oh my god, the frame rate was terrible. And it's not because um, the the host had an advantage or anything on that, or the lag connection. It was just like my Xbox was lagging super hard and. There's nothing wrong with my Xbox, really, so... Yeah, I'm going to reserve ju judgement for a good while. Um, what else? I want to apologise, uh, or I just want to point out, uh, the previous video, or well, my first video that I uploaded, the deathmatch on Havana, I didn't commentate, simply because I wanted you to get the full experience that I had uh, playing that game, because it was like a like I said in the thumbnail, it was my first win in this game and it was also um, I don't even know, it was a good, pretty, it was a pretty good game, I think that grab kill I got on what's the face, the puppeteer, it was fucking sweet I really like uh, the three times multiplayer on that I'm gonna fuck up here and think that this um, firebrand is my pursuer but she ain't and the, and the Lady Black doesn't think to get me a focus, or get a focus on me, so... Um, yeah, that's why I didn't come and take that previous video, because I wanted you guys, those of you that might not have played the multiplayer, to get uh, the full, excuse me, the full experience from the game. I think this is going to be the only other video that I upload where we will have, um, like, in-game music because I've turned it off um, I don't know if you guys know it or know but in a few weeks uh, there's gonna be some changes to YouTube about co copyright uh, strikes and ID claims on your videos so I don't I really can't be bothered to go through the hassle of disputing a claim on a video of mine even though the Ubisoft video policy states that I can use uh, their content as long as I'm not abusing the things and like not being an asshole and an unpleasant human being and things like that so uh, yeah I've turned off the music in game so I apologize if you feel that that's gonna uh, reduce the overall quality of my videos but as we come to an end in the game we win with not the greatest score in the world um, but this was this was my first win in Wanted, with the badass Irishman that is 
uh, what's his name? Adrian Flood. But yeah, um, let me know what you think of the game so far, those of you that have got it. Um, those of you that haven't got it, let me know why you haven't got it. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed. I want to say thanks for watching this, and I'll catch you later, YouTube.